today we have a Pokemon market update for you guys, and we are going to start off with some singles, and then we're going to move into some sealed product. Uh, from We're going to start with these guys, and we're going to kind of go back to Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield. Uh, but first up, these are some of the biggest movers. This is the Mew EX from Legendary Treasures the Radiant Collection, up 25% over the past three months. And in the last month, 16.6%. Uh, this is for near mint copies here. Uh, stunning card, by the way. Absolutely stunning Mew. Do not have this in my collection, and I need to add this to my collection um, ASAP. Uh, not a crazy expensive card, which is nice. Still in the $50 range, so uh, definitely achievable and absolutely love this Mew. So next up, another big mover. Temple of Sinnoh uh, Secret Rare from Astral Radiance. One month, up 38%. Not the biggest dollar-wise from 11 to 16, but that's a 38% gain from Astral Radiance, so yeah, that's that's a big move for one month. Uh, if we look at it on the three month chart, it's actually down. It's came, it's came down quite a bit, so this is a rebound. It was up, came down, and now it is bouncing back with a vengeance, apparently. So yeah, that is the, the temple. Then we have the uh, basic energy from Shrouded Fable, which is, most Shrouded Fable is kind of tanking right now, uh, but we got the uh, basic metal energy up 41% um, from a low. If we if we go to the one month, it's actually up 75.8% from $10 up to over 20. So that is pretty crazy right there. Basic metal energy, gold card. Wow. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit more shrouded fable while we're here. Now there's another big mover. Hound Doom on its way down, down 24% in the past month, which is. Unfortunate because I think that this is a stunning card. I got this card. I didn't pull it. I traded for it. So, I mean, even if this card tanks, to me, this is one of those cards that, man, I just, I love the Pokemon and love the card, love the artwork. Surprised to see it tanking this much. I thought that this card in the Persian might kind of creep to the top, but apparently not. The Houndoom just can't, just can't hang. Speaking of the Persian, here we go. Same, similar situation. Down 18% on just the last month alone. It was up at 31, now it's down to 25. So, yeah, unfortunate. I I, I like this card a lot, too. Um, I like artwork-wise, obviously, and Pokemon-wise. I like the Houndoom more, but the Persian, super cool card. like the Reflection. Um, underrated Pokemon Persian. So, yeah, that's kind of sad to see. Um, we'll touch on some sealed product here. The uh, Just touch on this real quick. Shrouded Fable ETBs. You know, Shrouded Fable not getting much love. There's some good cards in it, though. But down 20% almost uh, on the Elite Trainer boxes. So yeah, it was in the 40s, and now we're down. I don't know how low this is going to go. Uh, a, lot of pe a lot of people like it. Most It seems like more people hate it, though. So, yeah, let me know uh, what you think about Shrouded Fable. Let me, leave me a comment. Next up, I also wanted to touch on these Japanese 151 booster boxes. Haven't touched on them in a minute. They are starting to creep up. 94, 94... $98. It wasn't that long ago, guys, that I, I was, we were in the 50s and I was saying this is your buy point. And even on the way down, um, even when we were at the 60s, people were like, buy, 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 this is the chance. And I was saying it's going to go lower. And we got down into like the 40s uh, on Sneaker Dunk for a while, which was crazy. So these have already over doubled since that price point. So if you got in at the high four, like 40 range, low 50s, you're pretty much, depending on where you got in, you're doubling your money already. So 151 Japanese bouncing back. Just, I say this so many times in so many videos, but 151 just amazes me. The demand for it is insane. We'll take a quick look right here at the booster bundles. I just wanted to touch on this real quick because it was right about this point where we started getting massive, massive restocks on the 151 booster bundles. Now, if uh, if you guys aren't familiar, these have been coming into stock on Walmart. We saw tons of them on Amazon, and I was able to snag a few. I got a um, right here. I actually got a sealed booster bundle case from Walmart, so that worked out well for me. And there was a lot of other people who were able to get them uh, in the Discord. If you're interested in joining, the link is in the description. You can join. It's free. There's buy, sell, trade. There's deal notifications. Um, and everyone in there is really great. We're over 300 members now. And that's how I was able to pick these up. I saw in the Discord it was popping off. 
was able to snag some. But what is interesting to me is with how many bundles hit the market, because there was a ton, it makes me think, it makes me ask a few questions. But first off is I'm surprised that this didn't tank down even more because booster bundles are like 28 bucks and we're still at 43. So that's wild. The demand for 151, insane. But let me know what you guys think just real quick in the comments. Reprint or restock? Were they really just holding back all of these booster bundles? So you know that the distributors are different between the big box stores to like the distributors that stock the sell to the LGSs. So let me know what you guys think. Interesting. There's so many, so many bundles available. So um, if you got some, congratulations. Next up, we're just going to take a look. Uh, we're getting into some other Scarlet and Violet era boxes. I just want to touch on the Magikarp real quick. We're going to go to Paldea boxes in a second and Magikarp's just kind of flat it's just kind of what I wanted to say 1.5% or 1.4 down on the three month it's down about 9% so it's on a little bit of a downturn uh, for the Paldea Evolves chase card you see the boxes here though boxes are doing their thing Paldea Evolves creeping we cracked 140 which is crazy that it cracked 140 already 143 old msrp for sword and shield era the new msrp is 161 or something it's in the 160s for scarlet and violet so my question is what will be the first box that cracks that msrp and what will happen when it does because very interesting very interesting to see what happens there um on the one month it's only up just under three percent but on that three month chart it's looking good if we pop into the one year here you can see obviously 45 percent we're at the one year high could have been picking up these boxes for sub 100 all day but paldea doing good things uh next up we're going to touch on twilight masquerade same thing it's it's chasing paldea is it going to pass it i mean i don't know it looks like it's possible so twilight big surprise still but um 30 percent 30 percent um in the last three months and in the last month alone, 15.7%. So sh showing more strength than Paldea evolved as far as the one month chart, the set is just cannot be stopped. But what will happen to the set once Stellar Crown and then Surging comes out? I think Twilight might get forgotten about. We'll see, it depends on what this card does, the Greninja. Greninja's down a little, only 3.8% on, on the past month. It was cracked 300, and now it's down into the 280s. So it's a decent little drop on the card. Um, it did the market did not want that to be a $300 card. Bounced off that, uh, but on the three-month chart, it's obviously up almost 90%. So um, yeah, that's the Greninja. That's Twilight. Then we have some Crown Zenith that I wanted to touch on. It's a little interesting since we're talking about the 151 booster bundles. I thought I'd say, hey, let's let's see what the booster bundles are doing. For Crown Zenith, not that many sales, as you can see in here. Uh, but 17.4% on the three-month chart and almost 4% on the one-month. So Crown Zenith booster bundles, uh, they're moving, which is a lot of people. These are like the different booster bundles. I think they were, at one point, they were Walmart exclusive, I think. And then they weren't. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I think Best Buy had them, too. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's like a different box, too. So anyways, uh, yeah, those are moving pretty good. Then we have the ETB for Crown Zenith. Crazy set, love it. Uh, pretty much even on the three-month chart. And on the one-month chart, pretty much even as well. So you're looking at 50 bucks for Crown Zenith. I'll be interested to see what these boxes do when they start drying up because it's a crazy set. Now we're going to get into some more. This is the last set in Sword and Shield. We're going to keep moving backwards a little bit. We're going to go to Lost Origin real quick. Now, Lost Origin had that big drop after it got that restock. Went down into the 186 range. Um, it's on a tiny bit of a decline. $212 currently. Just up a little bit on the three-month chart. On the one-month chart, same thing. 1.3%. Cracking that 200 um, range. I feel like a, there's a lot of people that were getting out of their positions on this. Be very interested to see what this set does long term. I'm heavily invested in this set personally. I do think that it's gonna end up being the number two set possibly, uh, Sword and Shield era. I think that the Giratina is too epic and it's gonna carry the set. Speaking of the Giratina though, it's, it 
it's tanking a little bit. Not tanking, but that's a bad word, sorry. Not tanking. It's just on a little bit of a decline. 8.8% down on the last month, 25% on the last three months. So that's more of a tank. But if we look at it, um, you know, we'll pull up the one year here. Uh, 23%. Had its big run up, and it's still 338 before it wasn't even it wasn't even 300. So at one point you could have picked this up for 230. That's wild. So yeah, um, we'll see how far the Giratina will fall. I'd like to see it stabilize personally because I do think it's an absolutely epic artwork card. But we'll see what happens. Touch on some Fusion Strike real quick. Fusion Strike down a little 8.6 percent on the last three months and nine percent on the last month now see this is kind of at an interesting point where i think lost origin has the potential to overtake fusion strike we'll see what happens we got the gengar here uh down 0.9 percent you know not too big on the last month kind of not as much as the giratina 15 percent on three month pull up the one year chart it's gonna look very similar uh it's still up 49 percent though overall see it it's holding over that 300 range so, yeah, and at one point it was over 400. Lowest, you could have picked this up for 183. Wow. Crazy how these things happen. But, yeah, that is the Gengar. Then we have, we'll just touch on, we got a few more boxes here. Brilliant Stars, just wanted to touch on real quick. Down a little, 3.4%. But on the one-month chart, seeing a little bit of an uptick, almost 2% there. Um, pull, see a little longer. See, this is a on the one-year chart. It's got a steady little climb. It dipped, came up, dipped, came up, up, down. So uh, be interested to see where this box can go. I think it's a pretty decent set. With a great chase card, the Charizard. If you're if you're new to the channel, you're going to hear a rant, a little short rant. Absolutely love this card. I think this is the best Charizard artwork we've ever gotten. I will die on that hill. So i got to give it love whenever I can. Um... 3% up on the one month, down quite a bit like some of the other big alt arts on the three month, 25%, 26%. But if we pull up the one year chart, not up that much, which is interesting. 125 and we're at 130. So it's barely up from where it was over here. You could have picked this card up for just 100 bucks not that long ago, and it cracked, it didn't even crack 200, which is a, it's a shame in my opinion. This card is too good. But that's just me. Um, oh yeah, I'll die on that hill. Um, last, last but not least, we have to touch on it. Evolving Skies. Down 2% on the three-month. The one-month chart, it's actually up 2%, so it's ticking back up. Take a look at the crazy one-year chart, obviously. 400s into the six high sixes. Um, we'll look at some recent solds. Last sold box was $699.99, so this looks like this is going to be moving up, cracking into that $700 range. The listed median price on TCG Player is $900, so I expect Evolving just to keep doing its thing, just keep climbing. Touch on the Umbreon real quick while we're here. A little bit of an uptick, up 3% on the one-month chart. It was at $139, now it's up to one, yeah, $139, up to eight, or $139, sorry, $839, up to $864.00 down a little bit on the three month and then we'll pull up the one year evolving skies doing evolving skies things up 56 percent could have picked this card up at its low in the last year under 500 and yeah man i thought this card when it was crazy when this was about to crack a thousand anyways um that is pretty much gonna do it for this one guys i just wanted to touch on a little bit of a market update for you guys um, if you're new to the channel and you're this far into the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know um, what you think about any of these sets, any of these cards that we talked about. Are you excited? Are you waiting for more to drop where you're at? Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to join the Discord, link is in the description as well. Um, buy, sell, trade, deals, general chat, grading questions, anything. Uh, There's a great group of people in there. So um, that's been really, really helpful for a lot of people. And what else? Um, I think that's I think that's gonna do it for this one. Um, I am still working on my 151 master set. I'm excited for Stellar Crown. I don't care what anybody says. I'm excited for it. If you don't like it, that's fine. I'm excited for Surging Sparks. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I'm excited for the future of Pokemon. I'm excited for the hobby. 
151 is crazy. Evolving size is crazy. Scarlet and Violet eras look shaping up real good. Um, that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.